Rob Hampton led all scores with 23 big points tonight. I'm sorry calling you the X Factor, man, because it seems like when you do well, the team's the team really does well on both sides of the ball. Um, some rough shooting last game, but you really redeemed yourself, hit some big shots down the stretch. I mean, how was it for you out there? Well, I just felt like I felt like the last game I let my team down because, you know, as a senior and as a leader, you know, I felt like this team depend well, well, yeah, depends on me. So, you know, I I feel like I have to drive this team, you know, not by myself, but I do have to play a key part and. I felt like Hampton, I let, I let him down. So I felt like tonight, I owed it to him to come out and play my heart out tonight. And you definitely had to do that with, with Kyle Quinn getting some early foul trouble. How did that change the game? And how did it change your game offensively? Well, whenever Kyle's not on the floor, it changes the game a lot. You know, when he's out there, he makes it easier for everybody because he demands so much attention offensively and defensively. But, you know, it just, it just let me know that, you know, okay, well, now that Kyle's not out here, you know, I got to be more aggressive. I got to get other people involved. I got to also make sure that I study the offense. How important were those were those loose balls out there? You guys were really aggressive, just clawing, clawing for any any miss, any miss uh, shot, any loose ball on the floor. You guys were really tenacious out there. Well, Coach always tells us the 50-50 balls win games. So we feel if we win the 50-50 battle, we'll win the game. Finally. And finally, the shots start to fall for you tonight. I mean, what did that do for your confidence to finally see the ball go through the hoop? Well, um, it kind of boosts my confidence a little bit because the past two games I've been in a shooting slump. My teammates and my coaches starting to doubt me a little bit. You got to let them know I'm still a shooter. So it's good to get some a few shots to fall down. How do you like that small lineup the coach doing, that little wrinkle? Oh, I, lo I love the four guards and one post player. It's kind of like one of our better lineups because we have some quick, nice-sized guards. So we get a lot of penetration better that way. and. It opens up the court for everybody, so we play a little bit better. And, you know, the difference from one game to the next, you guys were up against Hampton in the first half, up again in the half, but what changed you guys were able to close out in this game? Um, we just, we're trying to, we're building, we're growing as a team, getting better chemistry, learning each other a little bit better, so we, we're trying to be more resilient, fight back. Like, when we go down, we don't really get too panic, we don't panic or get too scared, so we just try to fight back and stay poised and come back in the game. Not only were you hitting shots, but Rod Hampton also shot well. Uh, Penny Williams came off the bench. He had six points. McCauley. Yeah, McCauley hit yeah. some big threes. How was it to see everyone else yeah. hit some shots? I love seeing all my teammates play good. I love when they, they play with a passion out there. They, they play carefree, you know what I mean, without a conscience. Because sometimes some games they all be hesitant to shoot, which hurt us. So it was good to see all of them take, take good game shots and knock them down. Now mentally, they cut the lead to eight in the second half. What was going through your guys' head at that point? Oh, man, push the lead back up, win by 20. We were trying to win by 20 the whole night. Unfortunately, we didn't, but we were trying to win by 20 the whole night. Here we are with head coach Anthony Evans following the 63-53 victory over the Howard Bison here at Howard University. And coach, I mean, from the start, it, the team just really just played together, balanced scoring throughout. I mean, what was going on on offense and on the defensive side? Everyone was just put, really playing together out there. Well, we were moving the basketball. Guys were hitting open shots, and it, it creates harmony. When, when things like that happen. We've been working on it in practice, you know, the last day or so, you know, it paid off. Yeah, and you guys really redeemed yourselves. Shot like one of 16 in the last game from three-point range. We guys hit seven trays. How big, of, how big of a difference did those threes make? Well, it's important because teams are going to play a zone. If, if we can't prove we can make shots, then obviously, you know, they're going to pack it in. Tonight, guys made shots, and that was important. Speak about the defensive intensity out there. Really forced Howard into some turnovers, and you guys really active on the boards as well. We started off man to man, and you know they were pretty comfortable with it. So we went to one of our three, three quarter court pressures, and uh, we made them uncomfortable. It slowed them down a little bit. We forced them into some turnovers, which allowed us to get into transition. And, and, and speaking of transition, I mean, that really that's really when you guys are at your best. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, we, we've got good finishers on our team. You, Chris McKeachin, uh, Rob Hampton, even Kyle Quinn. Good finishers around the basket. So if we can get out, Alik Pauline, you know, starts it. Those guys finish it. And I guess I saw a little wrinkle out there. You got you went to your smaller lineup, four guards and one big, and you guys really created turnovers out there. We did. I mean, we, we have guards big enough to guard four men in this conference. So as long as we can, you know, create havoc, get out and pressure people, create turnovers, then we're going to go with the lineup at times. You're definitely a coach that preaches defense. I mean, you guys were up so much as 15. Um, Rob hit a big three as well to keep you guys with the, with the double-digit lead, but you guys, st you're still yelling, imploring, get a stop, get a stop. Because you're, you're always coaching for this game as well as the next. You want to create that consistency. We play defense the same way all the time. We'll win more games than we lose. All right. Let's see if the Spartans can build on this victory here. 
For more on NSU's men's basketball, as always, NSUSpartans.com. Joe Cook of NSUSpartans.com recapping the women's matchup tonight. Norfolk State falls to Howard University 65-43, to 22-point loss for the Spartans. Tamara Holmes, she hit 17 first-half points and led all scores with 22 for the Bison. Howard led 31-21 at the half in the second half, and they pushed that lead all the way up to 21 points as the Spartans cannot get back in transition defense where Howard scored a lot of their points. So Doria Dowles, number 13, she went to work the second half as well, contributing 16 points for the the Bison. Norfolk State University Spartans now drop to 6-8 and eight overall to see if they can get back within the game of 500 in their next contest. For more on NSU Spartans basketball, as always, NSUSpartans.com.